What's up, y'all? It's Z with Change the Game TV. Before the Shell Money Excel and 50 Cent split, Shell Money Excel was a producer for 50 Cent and G Unit. Shell Money Excel's music production credits with 50 Cent go as far back to 50 Cent's unreleased debut album, Power of the Dollar, on the song You Ain't No Gangsta. I wouldn't snitch on my peoples if the feds brought me. Your ass to hit more notes than Ron Osley. I Power of the Dollar was never officially released by Columbia Records. Though the album had a scheduled release date for July 4th, 2000, it was never released because Columbia Records dropped 50 Cent from the label after he was shot nine times about a month prior on May 24th, 2000. Months after 50 Cent's recovery after being shot, he and Sean Money XL started linking up again and making music that would have the streets buzzing and eventually lead up to 50 Cent's million dollar signing with Eminem and Dr. Dre in 2002. The release of 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying in 2003 solidified G Unit as a force to be reckoned with. So what really happened between Shamani XL and 50 Cent that they split? What was the beef? Let's get into that. Shamani XL was recently on Matt Hoffa's My Expert Opinion podcast show platform and he recalled how he and 50 Cent started G Unit in his basement. The original umbrella was literally just me and him. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo and them was nowhere around when we first started. But when we got in my basement... Sean Money XL goes on to elaborate on how other G-Unit artists, Tony Yayo and Lloyd Banks, eventually became a part of G-Unit. Fifth knew it, you know what I mean? So Fifth, and then that was the first introduction of Yayo, and then Yayo was like, I'm gonna bring my homie. He brought Banks. And that's how it started. After Interscope Records granted 50 Cent his own label in 2003, Sean Money XL was president of G Unit Records until 2007. Due to Sean Money XL and 50 Cent's dispute, Sean Money XL ended up leaving G Unit. A noted point of dispute between 50 Cent and Sean Money XL is 50 Cent's claim that Sean Money XL took $50,000 over a point on the Get Rich or Die Trying album for his production role that would have earned him $1.3 million. Check this out, he asked for $50,000. I said, yo. Don't take 50,000, take 30,000 in a point. Mind you, the point was worth $1.3 million. Damn. I sold 13 million records on that album. With that stated, whether you believe 50 Cent's story or not, Sean Money XL has fared pretty well financially compared to other original G Unit members, Tony Yayo and Lloyd Banks. Sean Money XL's net worth, according to online publications, is $10 million, whereas Tony Yayo's is $4 million and Lloyd Banks' is $9 million. And 50 Cent's is four times Sean Money XL's at $40 million. What are your thoughts on Sean Money XL starting G Unit with 50 Cent? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, Go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button as it really helps the growth of our channel so that we can continue to bring you content like this. And as always, at Change the Game TV, we give you game so that you can change the game. Now, go forth and change the game.